Eel supporters flexed their muscles at Suncorp, and the Broncos had some early nerves in this round 23 match. The home team quickly got over that, but the Eels' defence held up. Corey Parker in game number 274. I don't think you got it down, no. Ryan Morgan upset the Broncos with his double dip on Josh Hoffman. And in the opening ten, only one line was under siege. Straight between the posts they go. That was Maguire's first try of the season. But when the Broncos held off Jared Hayne, it proved a costly mistake. They hang off him, still going. A oh, beautiful pass on the outside. Ryan Morgan's in. Can he get it down? I think he's in. Yeah, when a player runs across the field like that, what he's waiting, he's waiting for the defence to make a mistake. They started to drift back and gave him too much room. Ben Hennett also showed his skills, keeping the ball alive to allow the Broncos to hit back. Gets it away on the outside, Cameron with the wing three quarter, Corey Ocean scores. While the Eels' defence was exposed there, Hoffman then embarrassed him. But he's away, he got away from Orgwood, fullback the beat, steps in, he comes out after him, he's still going, oh, he'll score a simple try. Hoffman was out to make a point. Every time the Eels held off him, the Broncos' fullback picked up metres. And how Parramatta could have done with another try before the break. They've got numbers. Jared Hayne, they pass, they score. For no one. At half time, Brisbane was up 16 6. The second 40 started with the Eels dishing up more mistakes. And those are the moments of the cage killer. That... Parramatta wasn't showing the ball a great deal of respect. And that man Hoffman continued to rub their face in. The ball's there, Hoffman. will try and bring it back on the fourth of play. That's terrible defence. And as the game wore on, the uglier it got for the year. Hunt, oh, they've got a giant overlap. Gillett just gave the ball to Jack Reed, who scores a brilliant try. Ricky Stewart had plenty to think about. And Jordan Kahu provided the locals with another high. Oh, beautifully taken out of the air. What a magnificent take. Hoffman turned in a man of the match performance. Running, scoring and saving tries was all part of his act. Well, Reed did his best to pick up a second. Reed for the line, he'll score again, will he? He's still got fingers on it, but I think it's, it might be on his boot. Yeah, no, yeah, you're 100% right. Well, Not long ball back ball from a hamstring ball injury, Hayne found, found some open ball. space. He's getting on the outside of them now, he's pinks away. He's over halfway, full back the beat. Hoffman, he's knocked the ball into touch. But the collision left him holding his leg. And that was the end of Haynes night. When he first hit the deck, he said to the trainer, he mouthed the words, I'm gone. The Eels had little luck. Pass out wide, poor low. Oh, that's a falcon. Until close to full time, when Rennie Matua put his head down. Rennie Matua, he steps nicely, Matua for the line, he'll score. Great try. It finished 22-12 to the Broncos. Their season is still kicking. Clinton Fletcher, NRL.com.